Well, what's interesting is in the old days, it was predominantly a male disease. Little by little, women have almost caught up 50-50. I mean, it is really on the rise in women. Why? Is it increased smoking? Is it a hormonal thing? I mean, there are a lot of theories behind it. You know, you can't deny the fact that for women, there's a societal influence to be thin. And when you look at the ads, you have a thin woman smoking a cigarette looking very elegant, and that is very attractive to some of our young people out there. I have two daughters who are, you know, exposed to this, and so I am concerned about them feeling the need to stay thin and having cigarettes as a part of, of their, you know, of a bad habit that they pick up. When you look at it, there are about 500,000 uh, smoking-related preventable deaths that occur in the United States every year. The best thing is to just avoid smoking. So many people look at it as a self-inflicted disease and with all the stigma attached to it as a disease that no one should have. And if you catch it early, there it, it is treatable, it is curable. And I think that is where all the research needs to be focused in on right now because screening for lung cancer saves lives.